Hi, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make some very, very simple rice patties or rice cakes and I'm going to bake them in the dehydrator. Now your best bet in making these is to start with a cooked short grain rice. It can be any type of rice you want. It could be a white or brown rice. Now when I cooked this rice, I realized I did not have enough short grain rice to make the amount I needed. So I've got one part short grain brown rice to three parts of long grain brown rice. So these are not going to be as sticky as I like them to be. Um, for this type of an application, just plain is how I'm going to make these, it will work out. If I was going to add things to this like oh cheese or meat or vegetables or something like that, it probably would not hold together very well. But anyway, I wanted to show you the process. These things need to be kept relatively small. So I'm going to start with one fourth cup of rice. And again, this is just a rice that was cooked in salted water. And I've got one fourth cup here compressed. And I've got little rings here. And this ring is about two and three fourths inches in diameter, somewhere in there. If you don't have a set of rings, uh, like I've got right here, if you don't have a set like that, no worries. You can form these in your hands if you want, or you could take a small can, like a tuna fish can or a cat food can or something like that, and cut both ends off, wash it really well, and then there you've got your rings. So it's not a big deal if you don't. But what I did, I these are these work out best if you keep them on the smaller side. So I just like to use a fourth of a cup. You could go a third of a cup in a small ring like this if you really wanted to. And I'm just compressing the rice in there with my spoon. And I'm going to make this in the dehydrator again, but I'm gonna put it straight on a fruit leather sheet because you know, we're dealing with something relatively small here. And especially since this is not all short grain rice, it might have a tendency to crumble a little bit. You see I was able to just lift it right up and put it on the fruit leather tray and just lift that ring right up, okay? So I'm going to continue to do this with the others. Now, the sky is the limit on this sort of thing. I'm making this plain. It, this can be a sweet item. It can be a savory thing. It could be plain like this and it just the sky's the limit on what you put in here. Uh, if you could even make it like a dessert with the sugar and cinnamon or fruit mixed in with it. It can be a grab and go meal if you take several of them and it'd be easy to pack or carry with you somewhere. Um, you could use this as a side dish with a meal and what I'm going to do is just eat these uh, with a large salad and it gives me a little bit of a starch along with that salad and baked in the dehydrator they, they come out with a nice bit of chewiness on the edges so I really like it that way okay I've got a second one here just kind of compress it right on out I love forming it in this ring because they just have such a nice shape and I'll get back with you when this is finished all right, I made patties out of the rest of the rice that I have, just enough for six, which is okay. I just wanted to do this for show. This one right here is a little taller than the others. I wanted to finish out the rice that I had, so uh, that filled the ring a little bit more. No harm done there. These are gonna go in the dehydrator at 145 degrees for one hour, and I'll show you where we go from there. All right, these things have spent one hour in the dehydrator at 145 degrees and the outside is beginning to feel dry, which is wonderful. And all I'm going to do is take my little spatula and turn them over. And again, these might be a little crumbly and it's because I did not use all short grain rice, which is the thing to do with this. But uh, anyway, some is in there so it helps. So okay, I've turned them over and I'm gonna put them back in the dehydrator, still at 145 degrees for another one hour. And then I'll show you where they're, what they're like when that's finished. Our rice patties have finished baking and they look good. You see, they're dry. They slide along this tray really easily. They have a little bit of dryness on the outside. 
yet on the inside there is still some moisture in there and um, to me it's just pure simple goodness to eat them like this either as a snack or part of a meal and again you can just do all sorts of things with them and I will get creative and create some uh, future videos with some additives in here whether it's herbs or other things as well. I want to encourage you to use your dehydrator as an oven and try some of these rice patties. They are just so good even just like they are and then when you add things in there of your own making, your own design, your own combinations, uh, the uses are endless from desserts to snacks to whole meals in themselves. Um, so give it a try. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Have a great day.